my name is Shari Chinyoung Kasten. And I'm Dan Kasten. And we met in high school. The funny thing is, is that we started dating in like 11th grade. Yeah. And I was talking to Dane's friend for like a week. And then I like broke up with his friend because we were like talking for like five days. And yeah, it wasn't working out for us. And then I think like a year later or summer later, a summer later, Dane texted me and was like, hey, and you can go from there. Yeah, I hit her up because uh, my boy was using my phone to actually hit Shari up because he didn't have a phone back then. And when it didn't work out, I seen I still had her number and I was like, dang, this is crazy. Let me see if she got the same number. And uh, I just went for it. I was like, yo, what's up? <laughs> and the rest was history after that, bro. Disclaimer, me and his friend only talked for like two days. Yeah, so. and they still cool. Yeah, it worked out. <laughs> We actually started a nonprofit called the World Peace Connection, and um, we started it in 2015 because we really wanted to ask people what inspires you the most about life and living. Yeah. And we decided to go after our inspiration, which is travel and service. Yeah, and we've been doing this for about two years now, um, and it's become a lifestyle at this point. At this point, we live by, we breathe by, and that's to try to make the world a better place. So it starts with us. And that's why we decided to just do it. Exactly. We've been to like over 11 different countries asking the same question to locals, travelers, students. We taught in Bali. We've been to Hong Kong, Malaysia, Thailand, Indonesia, Singapore, Vietnam. Vietnam. The list goes on and on and on. The main objective is to figure out what inspires you the most about life and living and not just figure it out, but really live by it and hours of service and giving back. Yeah, I mean, just leaving that event, it just kind of allows you to, to open up your eyes and be like, dang, like we can do this, you know what I mean? Just be ourselves and it's dope, you know what I'm saying? And when you come to places, especially like Trap Bar, you get to see how different creatives all around the world are just uniquely themselves and they're giving them best, their best versions of themselves. And that's like, it's dope for us because that's a sense of peace. That's where they get their peace, and so to see other people having their peace, like we're having our peace through our art or through our organization, to see them have their same thing, and it's just what we love to do, yeah. I think Trap Art Atlanta, specifically Atlanta art, it just reminds me of community, yeah. and the biggest thing with Dan and I and our relationship is our community. I went to a different high school, I went to a different college, but our community came together and supported our love. Even for our wedding, we had like an impromptu wedding. <laughs> Nobody knew we were getting married. We just, we told them. We sent out a text. We, yeah, we sent out a text. We were like, hey guys, we went to the courthouse, so meet us here. But we actually had like a wedding in front of our closest friends and our family. Yeah. And it was community. And I think Trap Art Atlanta reminds me so much of community and just coming together and being yourself. Supporting each other, yeah, for sure. Black love. Black love reminds me of, of strength. It reminds me of different dynamics of love. It can be love from a parental love, your child love, but most importantly, for, I think this season in my life, love reminds me of finding somebody that's a reflection of you, but someone that's gonna make you better. Yeah. But also that reminds you that they're just human, so we're gonna put God in the, the forefront of our relationship. I think a lot of people get lost in love, not just relationship love, but when you're in love with something, you forget that God is love. Right. You gotta find that in it. And so, yeah, I mean, you said it perfect. I think, yeah, this black love is just like empowerment. And I think that's, it's, it's a beautiful thing to be able to know that when real love exists, people want it. You know what I'm saying? All around the world, people are still searching for love. It, but then to see it in our community as black love, what it represents is empowerment. Yeah. yeah, I just thought about it, like the two words coming together and fusing black love. Like black to me is like newbie and kings and queens and then love is so strong. God is love. So putting them both together, you can't stop. You can't stop. I think that it is needed. It is needed. Um, and I'm happy that we're not doing it for that reason though. I think some people can see that black love is needed, so let's put on this show, especially for like Instagram and uh, all these different social medias. And I think 
we do it so, I don't say effortlessly, but we do it, it's so genuine, it's authentic. Mm -hmm. And when you're able to really show that, people can see it. People can see it through the social media, they can see it. It's really in the chemistry, it's like, it just is what it is. And whatever that may be for people, for them to see that genuinity of like throughout different platforms or whatever, I mean, I think it's, it's gonna help make the world a better place because of it. I mean, I, I don't know, I, I do feel some sort of responsibility to let people know that love exists. Especially to you. Yeah. Especially to you. Yeah. Love exists and um, fall in love with your high school sweetheart. That's yeah. just, who does that, you know? And it, it really can happen. And yeah, I, I feel that responsibility to, to portray it on my social media, but not as a portrayal, but as a, my real life, you know? And we get a lot of responses, a lot of people asking us if our love is real, and I respond to them. God is love, seriously, like, if you put God in the forefront of your relationship, you don't have to worry about if your love is going to be real, because you guys are both coming together loving God. Yeah, but you gotta love yourself first. You know, sometimes it's hard for people to even be able to do that or understand what that even means to do. Uh -oh. um, yeah, what that even means means to do and I think that again is finding peace it goes back to finding peace within yourself you know um, what you find peace within yourself at what you're doing if you're following your dreams that gets you one step closer to being in love with who you are because you're walking in your purpose and um, I think even back then we weren't really necessarily walking in our purpose but we both had a goal in mind and it was like I knew what I wanted she knew what she wanted we were somewhat developed internally by ourselves but then when we came together we saw that it was just like more powerful so you know i guess when you find the one that even is possible but you'll find the other person who matches your, your drive the reason why i love you is because you literally complete me you make me a better person each and every day you love me unconditionally when i look at you it reminds me of god the unconditional love of god and how God was here, this is how he would push me day in and day out from a different, from a different avenue I believe he's using you and so that's why I love you. The reason why I love you is because you taught me love. You taught me that love is unconditional, that there's no rules, that when you are together loving somebody and you push somebody each and every day and you do it together, it's a force like a song. <laughs> Um, the reason why I love you is because I believe that you were made perfectly for me. I think that God created you and molded you specifically for me. He curled your little mustache for me. <laughs> he made your vision bad so we could wear glasses together. And yeah. That's it.